Brigitte is no longer just the backline sentinel you knew from Overwatch 1. Her rework within Overwatch 2 has brought some fundamental changes to the character that influence the way she is played within every single game. But before we discuss, allow me to introduce myself to you. My name is Paz and I am a top 500 support player that currently plays for the Penn State University. I have a ton of experience on this character within ladder as well as the competitive scene. Keep in mind that today's guide is strictly discussing the major things that have changed with Brigitte in Overwatch 2. Abilities like Whipshot are still relatively similar to Overwatch 1, and I suggest watching the first Brigitte guide on my channel before referencing this one. So let's get right into the new stuff. The largest change to note resides in her reworked Shield Bash, which no longer stuns enemies. Instead, it launches the player forward an increased 12 meters, deals 50 damage, and even procs Inspire. On top of this, the Bash is no longer blocked by barriers either, meaning in Brawl vs. Brawl matchups, an enemy Reinhardt's shield means nothing to you as Brig. The same can be true when peeling for your friendly support against characters like Winston. This rework alone changed the way the character was played early on. Instead of just being a backline sentinel like she was in meta's past, she is now also a serious threat in aggressive brawl compositions that don't need much healing. An example of this was a meta in the recent past, including Junker Queen before her nerf. The speed and extra health provided by Queen and Lucio allowed for Brigitte to get extra close to the enemy to continuously proc Inspire, as well as utilize her new insane damage potential. This isn't to say that she cannot follow around her friendly Ana or Zenyatta though, just that oftentimes it is more valuable to be aggressive than defensive. Brigitte's ultimate now functions differently in the sense that the ability now gives over health instead of armor. An Overwatch orange HP, in other words, armor, will block 5 damage from every individual hit that deals 10 or more damage. Hits that deal less than 10 damage will be halved instead. So while characters like Widowmaker and Hanzo are generally unaffected by armor, characters that fire many individual pellets like Tracer, Soldier, and Reaper really struggle as a result. A majority the majority of tanks hold lots of armor in their health pools to compensate for their rather large hitboxes. This change to green health or over health is significant as it drastically diminishes the oppressive nature the ultimate once held. That being said, the ultimate still functions nearly the same as an aggressive engagement tool or an ability to answer and keep the tempo in your team's favor. Just keep in mind that you are not invincible within this ultimate, and rather just very bulky. The last ability to go over is the repair packs Brigitte holds to heal her team from longer ranges. Before this ability was meant to solely be used on your DPS. In similar dive matchups where you were supporting an Ana or a Zen, this is likely to still be the case. However, in brawl comps when paired with a Lucio, packing your tank will become a bit more common. Realistically, healing your DPS is where your repair packs are going to go to most of the time before they take duels. After all, Genshi plays very differently into brawl than characters like Reaper because he looks to pick off people on flanks frequently, which will allow you the forward momentum you need to rack up your healing with Inspire. The new offensive potential with Brigitte cannot be underutilized if you expect to carry games on this character. An important question I have begun to ask myself as more supports are introduced to the game is what is the competitive advantage my character has over others, and am I utilizing this advantage to the best of my ability? Some advantages are more slight compared to others depending on the meta, but how are you going to make a character work if you aren't playing them to their desired potential? For example, while Mercy might be extremely weak right now or in future metas, what is it about her kit that sets her apart? She has very high mobility which makes her an attractive option if you just need to stay alive, but most importantly, she has damage boost, which allows some DPS to truly dominate. She may be less than optimal in the highest level of play, but alas, when she is played correctly, in most ranks, it makes enemy DPS oppressive and carries games. Brigitte is similar. She may not be meta in the current moment, but it is important to have an idea of the competitive advantage you plan to abuse with the character you are playing. Brigitte may not have crazy peel potential anymore, but she makes up for that with incredible area of effect healing and aggressive brawly damage, as well as incredible support potential for friendly DPS with repair packs. So if you were looking to play Brigitte in Overwatch 2, you have to be looking to hit consistent whip shots now more than ever on the enemy tank to keep your inspire uptime high or look to clean up kills against DPS when applicable. In terms of positioning, if your team is playing a fast paced brawl composition, you must be active alongside them, or else you won't have inspire up long enough to sustain them throughout the fight. If you are playing a slower brawl composition, you must focus on keeping your DPS and supports up, just like before, with an increased focus on the accuracy of Whipshot. Brigitte is not the character she used to be, and if you expect to play her the exact same way you did before in Overwatch 1, you're doomed to fail. Instead, recognize the changes to her competitive advantage and utilize it to the fullest of your potential, and you will win
win games. Holy Shift Kid is already GM1 on Brigitte, so the value is definitely there for you to get after. With all that being said, if you liked this guide, let me know in the comments down below which character you want me to go over next. Don't be afraid to ask me questions, but until next time, I've got a peace out and paz out. I'll see you in the next one.